Hi everyone! For the max product of 3 in Codility's sorting section, we need to find the largest product of any triplet of P, Q, and R. Since this is a sorting challenge, and as the directions tell us, P is less than Q, less than R, less than N. We also know that there are and can be negative numbers. We also know that a negative integer mixed in with positive integers in any triplet will throw us into the negatives, so we will need to accommodate for that right away. In my head, if the list is sorted from smallest to largest, the first thing we can do is multiply the last three elements and presto, we have the largest number. But what if we have an array where the second or third to last number is negative? Hmm, we're going to have to figure that one out. We need the largest product, but we need to keep in mind that even a negative product can still be the largest in an array if it's amongst other negatives. We also have to remember that two negatives equal a positive, so yeah. Looks like we're going to have to write this where we split the array somehow and section off positives from negatives. At least that's what I'm thinking. We can do this two ways. Both require splitting the array into two sections and returning the max of either section. We can do this through Python's built-in max function or implement the heap queue module. Let's look at two ways. Hey there! If you made it this far and enjoy what you're seeing, why not subscribe? I upload fresh content all the time. Thanks for watching. But before we start, let me tell you up front that I haven't run these through the Codility tests yet. So we're going to do this together and stay with me, even though it might look like a bad accident that you can't turn away from. We need to do this together, so stay with me. This one, um, these are just my thoughts on what I would do to solve it off the top of my head. So we're going to choose Python. And, oops, okay, sorry, I need a fresh slate here. Okay, so um, this is what I would do. I would just do, well, obviously we need to sort it first. So I'm just going to put it as B. And so for I in B, If B is, oops, if any index in B is greater than zero, um, no negatives, these are just positives. If B is greater than zero, then we want to just return um, the top one, I'm sorry, the very last one times second to last times our third to last oops I'm sorry brackets else we will return our B the very first one times the next one up and then we need to do it by the very last element. Okay, we're sorting it. Uh, let's make it look a little neater. Let's push this down for I and B. Let's look it over. If an X greater than zero, no negatives, return the last three. And if there is negatives, we're going to do the first two times the last one. So let's run our test. Let's see. So far, so good. Let's submit it and see where we're at. Yes, we want to submit. <sighs> Continue. Uh, let's see what we get. No. Oh. Okay, so we got we got twenty two percent. Ew. Okay. Well, that's not very good. Wrong answer, timeouts, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We're going to do the heat cue module. I'm not super familiar with it, so just bear with me as we go along. Okay, so let's 
start the test again using this. I got some notes here, so if you see me looking down, it's because I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. So, go on to Python, start our fresh palette. Okay, so we need to import. Oh, I'm sorry, what a dummy. So we need to import the heat queue and we are going to, um, so it's heap queue dot heapify and we need to do this for A and then we need to create some variables. So. Let's do the largest. So let's just make it large equals heat q dot n largest, the largest three of A. And then we are going to say, actually, we don't need another space. We're going to do large one, large. Two large three equals. Uh, let's see. It needs to be large. The three three largest numbers. So large zero, large one, and large two. Okay, and then we need to make the smallest. So let's do small equals uh, heat q, oops, and smallest. It's kind of like the last problem where you need two of the small and then the one at the end. So we need the smallest two of a, and what we're gonna do is um, small one and small two are going to equal small zero and small one. Okay, so now what we have to do is just return the max. We're going to use the max function. So the max of um, it's going to be sorry my leg itches. Okay, so we're going to do um, large one times large two times large three. That's going to be the max of these two and then it's going to be small one small Oh wait, I think I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we gotta, we gotta multiply it. My bad. So we got small one, which needs to be multiplied by small two. And then we need to multiply it by large one. So, I'm not sure if this is gonna bring us, I don't know if it matters if I should do large two or large zero. one large it's large zero okay so it's gonna be times large zero I'm sorry whoopsie it would be large one okay so all right I have no idea how this is gonna go so I'm hoping I have it all typed right okay the example test is coming back okay Ugh. I'm scared. All right, let's submit it and see what happens. I'm really nervous. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see. Let's see what our evaluation. Oh, we got 100%. Uh, okay, that's this is great. We got 100. I'm so excited. Um I think this is supposed to be ON, but I know codality is not always accurate with time complexities. Could be wrong on that, 
but wow how exciting okay so so for the other for the other I think it's a hundred percent let me just go back and let's do that one real quick I'm pretty sure um, I was trying to kind of figure out and do it my own way but this is kind of the tried and true formula so let's let's just do that one real quick um, if I can remember it correctly I might totally bomb it but um, I think we have to sort it so let's just do uh, variable B again of sorted A and then what we need to do is we just we're just returning the max of I think it's B B minus one times B again kind of the same thing minus two times B minus three and it's oops I keep it's the max between um, B zero times B one and then we just have to multiply it by the last element in the array which is minus one. Oops, I put a bracket next to the B and we need a parentheses so let me make sure it's right. One, two, three times zero, one and negative one. So I think that's the tried and true formula so that will like give us an automatic 100% but I was trying to think of a different way. That's what I get for thinking. So we're going to submit the task. Yes, we're ready. Um, okay. Continue. I'm pretty sure this is going to get us 100%. Yes. 100%. I was just trying to do something a little different. And that's okay. We can, we can always try it. And same thing. 100%. But I'm really excited about the heat cue one the module there that's pretty cool okay that's it i hope you learned something today on this video um let me know if you have more fun i guess watching this video with myself in it i don't typically like to be in the videos but um it's kind of fun doing these things together so anyway i hope you have a great day and Make sure to put some comments down below if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe. I, I'm putting out, um, I'm trying to put videos out every day. Doesn't always happen, but anyway, 